you uh, pass it based on this this yoga, uh, this deity. So I ask it, John of us. Because the Jonoba cannot deny every single Jonoba practice, minimum practice is three year retreat on Galachagra path. Yes. When we do this, all our deity, Yidam deity, is 24 arm Galachagra or 2 arm Galachagra or we don't call 2 arm Galachagra, we call it Tukurthanki which means uh, innate Kalachagra. So something else. Nobody can say or oh, something else. It has to be innate Kalachagra. Okay? Is that means our main practice, the most precious a John of a hold and nobody has on this earth what it is, the John of us have to say the six yoga. Uh, if you ask other people, they say six yoga. If you ask His Holiness, He says six yoga. If you ask His Holiness, which who has the six yogas offering now? Who has the preserved John of us? Okay, and that is something very special. Or the, then what deity you use? You use the Kalachagra. To um, then I said, why we don't have proper statue? So some people say, ah, what do you mean proper statue? We have a lot of statues. <laughs> yes, we have a lot of statues, but if you look at the text, then be carefully and critically, or oh, this, 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 this. Everybody is missing something. Most of I never seen even the, the frame or side. Obvious things. But many of them. So why? No answer. No answer. And so that's why I'm mad. But it's very hard to uh, you how do you say? and uh, convince everybody. So my wish, I in convince everybody, so the Jorong Pass, everybody collect money together, and they make 10,000 or 20,000 statues, and then everybody has one. My wish can do that. But I thought, oh, forget about that. That's never happened. <laughs> so I can do only few hundred. Because if you can do 10,000, 20,000, then easy to convince uh, the factories. Otherwise, very difficult more expensive. So anyway, so I thought I do it for my students. Then try John of the Canvas slowly. <laughs> so that's why I did photos, photos for the John of us. I did a real statue for my students. So that's why we filled a two months, a few months, working two months and try to feel very precisely inside every part of the body. Because it's, we took two years to make this because the, firstly we made in a computer, first, secondly, and uh, 
the old top factories to fail to do. So finally we made it, went through a lot of hardship. And then, because everybody failed to do the inside empty, also failed to do the, the, all the details of this uh, jury distance, you know. So that's why the many people don't have this. That some people don't have jury. Some people have a little bit only on the on on the skin, you know. Yeah, so many things. I think if you look carefully, many people gave up many details. So we did that, and then then you very hard very hard to feel because you know it's only thing you can feel from here. So otherwise, you, your body is, uh, you know, uh, same holes, so it's so not easy. Then we filled. Take very long time. My brother stayed more than two months, two and a half months as he worked. Uh, some monks helping. Um, I also went help. Uh, some students went help. And then, you know, guess what? The most we are incredible lucky is we can blessed with 3,000 monks, Gala Chagra, the most extensive ritual, performing eight days. 3,000 monks. And then after that, my, my Lama's uh, 20th anniversary gathering. That's only a few hundred monks, but uh, he's still, yeah, this is my Lama, so um, it's very special time, you know, incredible special time, because my Lama is a reincarnation, he is the, the leader of the, you know, leader of the, the puja. Eight days again. Yeah, we donate. Um, uh, yeah, a lot uh, for the people, uh, the uh, monks. So, really, nobody had that kind of long consecration uh, So, why we do that? Because of this path, so important, so real. That's why we do. So, why so real? I tell you why. Because is connection with the Shambhala through the Kalachara Tantra. So do you do we have any like this uh, even we say oh Chakra Sambara, Guru Samaya, you know, any of consider very high practices, do they have in the history like Shambhala connection? Don't. That's why I choose in Kalachara path. Otherwise I don't have to work on Kalachara because I can, <laughs> I can practice Dokshin, I can practice any. It's so easy already established, you know. But I try to establish this because only Shambhala has a rare lineage connection from Shambhala to here. And also, not only connection, but the Shambhala prophesies to liberate our world. So that's why all these Shambhala prayers and come to my mind. So according to these prayers, you, as long as you have the lineage connection, as long as you had this uh, Bodhicitta aspiration. Even if you die tomorrow. As long as your the aspiration is prioritized, then all other karmas, karmic propensities, pacified, not eradicated yet. <laughs> Pacified. Pacified means 
You know the karmic law, you read very carefully. Always, which one is more powerful? Wrap in first. So if you are connected with Bodhicitta, Shambhala lineage, and aspiration to Shambhala, the next immediate rebirth is Shambhala. Logically, nothing, nothing else happened. You may understand now or you may understand later. But if you have a familiarization enough, you understand that. That's why it's so important. But if you decide not like that simple, you want proof by yourself. If you want to, you know, discover by yourself, then again, the Kala Chakra Tantra is the most extensive in this earth, the spiritual system on this earth. So you can discover, you can through. I'm sure my books help you if you want to read the incredible academic books before read my books, read my books first and then you go to academic, that helps. Either, oh, I read these books, that's why I'm, I'm really helpful, I, I understand academics, or, or I don't need academics, oh, this is enough. One of them, one of Phil, definitely you. So I suggest, I suggest, what I'm suggesting is the simplest, the faithful Shambhala connection you want to keep in simple way with Bodhicitta. Or you want to go most self-discovering through the Kala Chakra is the, the best. Suggest. Why best? Is clear more, offer more knowledge. I don't have to say more. Because you want uh, self-discovery, then is that really important? To with this match is Jantong Majamika is matched. So, I studied Jantong a long time, but there's something, you know, like there's something missing. It's something confused, because what I studied Jantong all is, uh, is not really Jantong. That's the problem. I think the Gelupa way is more clear. Gelupa way is kind of real Jantong. But the others is Rantong, but it's not real Rantong. They are green with the At the same time they say they are Rantong. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> so then after I read Jantong, then oh, okay, now I understand. So I'm sure you will arrive like that. But you don't have to arrive like this. If you didn't arrive like that, that means you had no karmic connection. You have karmic connection somewhere else. <laughs> so, there is many details to describe this, world, this path. Many times in the past, hopefully you can listen somewhere or we can explain more next time, next, uh, next week. So today maybe um, we live here and we read the Shambhala prayer together. This is a very special prayer. And uh, yeah, we read this together. And then if you have any more questions, we can do that after that.
everyone have a prayer? Imaho, primordial space of great emptiness, imbued with all supreme aspects, great play of the Sambhogakaya, spontaneous primordial wisdom, antidote that liberates all migrating beings from myriads of methods, realizing magical displays of great compassion for all who need taming. Perfect radiance of wisdom, dispelling the darkness of ignorance, by abandoning the two obscurations, all migrant beings are liberated. Unceasing display of great love and compassion. Reside in my heart, great guru of all victorious ones. Buddha, Dharma, and virtuous noble Sangha, hero and heroines, oath bound Dharma protectors, I take refuge in you. Please protect all beings. Protect us always in this life, the next life, and the bardo. Particularly dispel all worldly degeneration and give rise to the massless oath of Bodhicitta. All Dharma kings and Kalkis of Shambhala swiftly manifest glorious peace and harmony in this world. Swiftly eliminate the expanse of suffering led by laziness, carelessness, the views and meditations presented by the illness of going to extremes and the wrongdoings manifested by the dharmas of false motivation. Kalki sages imbued with myriad treasures. Countless times before, you did not let your vows and aspirations of immeasurable compassion diminish. Mighty compassion, legions of Shambhala, at the time of the second golden age, please bestow thousands of blessings. Through the Vajra of authentic love and kindness, lead all beings on the path of perfect peace and harmony. Please manifest the great fortune of Shambhala the profound teachings of glorious Telachakra, perfectly completing 21,000 moments of the Mahamudra of unity form and immutable bliss, the 13th absorption, the ground of the great Vajra, bless me to attain this in this very life. If I am unable to do so, through the mudras of recollection, may I master the realization of the Dharmakaya at death. If I am able to do that, by retaining the supreme wisdom of the four joys, may I be liberated into the manifestation of the Sambhogakaya. If I do not accomplish this by controlling the life force in the field of the Sambhogakaya, may I become a great Bodhisattva of the tenth crown. If I am unable to do that in the pure lands of Nirmanakaya, may I be able to grasp an authentic Arya path of the lower ground. In brief, from now on, in this life, the moment of death, the dharmata, the bardo, and all apparent realms of existence, whether through the dharmakaya, sambhogakaya, nirmanakaya, or one of the bodhisattva grounds, may I have the good fortune to be liberated at such times. If I do not gain profound realizations in this life, and if I do not have the capacity to gain self-liberation into the states of the three kayas, through continuous meditation on the path of Vajra Yoga, may I gain birth in the pure land of Shambhala. In this existence, may my attachment be minimal, and may I give rise to Bodhisattva. May the aspirations to be born in this pure land not be reversed. Through meditating on the preliminaries, may I gain excellent results, and may I have the capacity to connect with the profound dharma of the generation and completion stages. Like that, may all those with such good fortune in this life at the moment of death or in the bardo as appropriate, meet the pleasant faces of the Kalki male and female bodhisattva and receive assurances from their undefiled speech. Later, in the long narrow path of the bardo, until there is no more continuation, Amidst the assembly of Vijadara heroes and heroines, amidst exquisite Vajra songs and gentle loving hearts, may this deep love like that between mother and child delight and flourish. Sons of the whole family, I am pleased you have come. Daughters of the Bodhisattvas, I am delighted to see you. May we go now with the assembly of Vijadara Dakinis to the northern realm of Shambhala. When this is spoken, may a network of white silk banners appear from the north. May all thoughts and appearances cease. 
May those with lesser fortune instantly gain great fortune, and when the path opens, may we be able to arrive in Shambhala. This is your land, the pinnacle of beauty and perfect health, all my streams of great love and compassion, co-emerging with magnificent, exalted wisdom. In this pure land, the peace and harmony come to be. In this pure land, the rivers, oceans, cliffs, and mountains, forests, and plants, and especially the beautiful, adorable garlands and snow mountains, all extend beyond the limits of one's mind. With one glance, all course afflictions cease. Due to training and contemplation of one's own innate nature and so forth, the appearances of the three poisonous afflictions and the five poisons are pacified. Through the manifested union of great love, compassion, and wisdom, may the capacity to lead all ordinary beings manifest. The ten million cities of this realm are the six occasions, transcending the delightful beauty of the God realms. Merely seeing it brings forth immeasurable joy and inspiration, and great clouds of bliss gather from all that is heard, felt, and experienced. In each month and year, all the valleys, rivers, and oceans are gradually renewed, and the various shapes and forms continuously gather smells, tastes, and sensations. May the capacity to manifest in this pure realm arise, and all excellent delights flourish. Food, clothes, surroundings, and nature, all the enjoyments one could possibly desire, manifest like gathering clouds in the natural world. May supreme peace and harmony arise in all bodies and minds to this natural state. Enjoying life without effort or exertion, without the need to compete for business or reaping one's livelihood. There are no fights or quarrels, opening the path of harmonious conditions for all. May the capacity arise to manifest in this pure land free from obstacles. Without attachment or jealousy to friends or foes, without even the suffering of birth, old age, sickness, and death, without the suffering of childbirth between mother and child, as soon as one is born, one has perfect, clear perception in the bodhicitta. Without the monopolizing bias of family or clan, even though all are born with food and nature as the children of the Vajra family, there is no attachment to mothers or fathers. All beings are protected as though they were their own child. Even more so, all these Vajra siblings of yogis and yoginis are without the afflictive love that serves through the divisiveness and bias. In the assembly of Vidyadara arrows and heroines, one abides eternal great bliss. From the inner essence of the male and female Vajra Vijitaras, without common ordinary beings, even the external world is produced from the great assemblies of marriage of the tenth level bodhisattvas. Therefore, all sights and sounds are mere emptiness and bliss. Without the conditions for giving rise to suffering and afflictions, everything appears as the play of empty form and primordial wisdom. In the expanse of Buddha nature, everything is endowed with all supreme aspects. May everything manifest as immeasurable and limitless great bliss. In this pure realm, through the profound path of meditating on the six Vajra Yogas for one day, the supreme journey is opened. More swift than meditating for a hundred eons in other realms, may I be born in this pure realm of the Vijayadharas and the Dakinis. The day and night yogas of individual withdrawal and concentration are the Vajra body. The yoga of the winds of life force control and retention are Vajra speech. The Maha Mudra of empty form and recollection is the Vajra mind. And the immutable great bliss of absorption is the constituents of primordial awareness. May I traverse the twelve great grounds of the Bodhisattvas. After attaining the thirteen grounds of Vajra absorption, for countless eons, may I have the capacity to bring benefit to limitless sentient beings through immeasurable emanations. May I alone, through the power of wisdom and compassion, dispel all degeneration in this world, and in the glorious second age of peace and harmony, may I become a great chariot, leading all with me, achieving all the benefits of meditating on and aspiring to the nature ultimate bodhicitta, along with conventional bodhicitta and four immeasurables, may I be protected by all unbiased victors and their children. Okay.
Okay, general education. What? General education. By all these virtuous deeds of accumulated merit, may all beings be rescued from the ocean of samsara, where the tide of aging, sickness, and death is violently active. May this merit help all beings attain Buddhahood and be victorious over all enemies and deceptive obscurations. By the goodness of what I have just done, may all beings complete the accumulation of merit and wisdom and gain the two sacred bodies. In future lives, may I never be separated from my glorious Lama. May I never be separated from the joy of practicing the precious Dharma. May I accomplish all the enlightened Bhumi levels and paths and attain the Buddhahood of Vajradhara. As long as space endures, as long as beings exist, may I remain and expel their sorrows until they reach Buddhahood. May the precious view of the emptiness of interdependence arise which has not yet arisen. May that which has already arisen not degenerate, may it increase. May the precious Dharma be respected and remain in this world, the only medicine and cure for suffering. The source of all happiness is the sacred Dharma. By the power of the three bodies of the Buddhas, the immutable truth of the Dharma, and by the power of the inseparable beginning of the Sangha, may all our wishes be fulfilled. Through the ultimate view of the sutras, the great body of Mika of the Gentile Middle Way, and the ultimate view of the Tantras, the indestructible six yogas of Kalachakra Tantra. May the glorious Shimon tradition flourish. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and joy. Glorious Tenzin Gyatso Shinraji, please remain until samsara ends. Shara Kitro Tampo Lodro, mind of love and compassion, peaceful and gentle in nature, fields of manifold appearances, glorious and powerful. Great mind of limitless depth, ocean like treasury, sublime counsel guiding all beings in a manner suiting their needs. Unification of the three trainings, faith, diligence, and concentration, priceless vitality, courageously manifesting the confidence of wisdom and compassion, creator of peace and harmony, please remain upon your Vajra throne. May your enlightened activities be accomplished in accordance with your great aspirations. Thank you. If you have some questions, you can do now, otherwise we finish. When do you think your book on... Hmm? When do you think your book on Zhentong will be published? Mm, already translated and went to some corrections. Mm, so now Tammy Johnson, uh, he, Tammy Johnson is Joe, okay? Joe is Tammy Johnson now. <laughs> You're not allowed to say Joe. So Tammy Johnson, he, he working on Shambhala book, my Shambhala book. Uh, we